All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you Metropolis Arc because they are on sale right now. There's a link in the description. And if you go use that link, I will get a portion of the proceeds. So thanks for helping me out there. Metropolis Arc put out by Orchestral Tools, and they've got four different libraries in the collection. And there's other things on sale as well, but I'm just gonna be looking at the Metropolis Arc series. They are meant to be very specific libraries that you would use in film composition or game composition or orchestral composition. The first one is meant to be for extremely loud sources, Metropolis Arc 1. Metropolis Arc 2 is a much more subdued, softer library. You've got Metropolis Arc 3, which is more of these weird, bizarre ways of using the orchestra, of using the instruments in the orchestra, so you're not gonna find normal sounding sounds of the orchestra in that library. And then Metropolis Arc 4 has a bit of everything, I would say. It's got some humongous sounds in it, and then it goes all the way down to some tender sounds as well. So I'll give you a quick overview of the different libraries, but mostly just wanted to show you my first day with it. I was so inspired by the sounds right away, I spent a day writing three different little pieces to show off. So let's just have a look at those, talk about some of the patches, and help you make the decision on whether or not these libraries are right for you. We've got the first one here, Metropolis Arc 1. In this one, I started with some low strings. They also have their own proprietary system or player, and I won't show that in this video, but it's definitely something worth checking out. We can go right to the top and see what we've got as, in terms of patches. So they've got multi-articulations, which is gonna be your key switch patches. And then they've got single articulations where they have each individual articulation that you can use from any of the instruments. And then they have something called TM or time machine patches. And the time machine patches are patches where you can go and extend or shorten the sound of the actual instrument. So if you decide that the spiccatos aren't short enough, you can go and actually shorten them. So just quickly, you can look and see what kind of articulations it comes with. These are the low strings and we've got sustained, Tremolo, portato long, portato short, spiccato. Here we've got the Bartok pizzicato, which is the uh, plucked strings, crescendos, and short crescendos, swells, and then we've got a tremolo decrescendo. Huge. I ended up using this spiccato patch. That was basically what started this little piece off. Oops, wrong key. And the next patch that I put in there were some high strings. So before I look at the horns and trumpets, one thing that is worth noting is which instruments of the orchestra do you actually get? For all of the Metropolis Arc libraries, they've got them grouped according to districts. So the first district is the orchestra, the choir, then the percussion, then the band, which is like electric guitar, bass, and drums. And so for the orchestra, we've got high strings and low strings. We don't have the strings split up into regular sections like the basses, the cellos, the violas, the violins, etc. And we don't have all of the instruments of the orchestra either. So we've got the bassoon, contrabassoons, we've got trumpets, horns, and then we've got trombones, chimbasi, which are like another type of trombone, and then tubas. So some really powerful instruments in this library and all of the patches sound just ridiculously large. We've got some choir in there and then a little bit of percussion. But maybe I'll show you a couple of combinations here. Here's the piano. And then we've got the bassoons. And of course you'll hear this, it just gets big really quickly.
So that's the idea. Obviously, I would flesh this out farther, but uh, I wanted to just do little tastes of each library for this video. And that's that was a couple hours work, maybe right there, coming up with this idea, playing around with the different instruments and trying not to let things get too muddy because things are so gigantic, you know, so I think proper mixing would be essential with this library and maybe a little bit more panning, stuff like that to separate things out a little bit. But it is very, a very inspiring library for sure, but a very specific one. So again, this one is just perfect for those huge orchestral sounds, but not if you need to do something intimate. So for that one, we've got Metropolis Arc 2. Let's go have a look at that one. The thing that got me excited about this one when I first started it out was this harmonium and it came up with this idea almost instantly. Which is kind of neat but then I went over to the organ and felt like this worked even better so I just tossed this line into the organ. This organ is just it's really cool sound. I love the sound of it. So let's look at what we've got in Metropolis Arc 2. And we'll just stick to the single articulation so you can see what we've got for each one. Again, we've got high strings and low strings, but this time we have a mid strings as well. Then we've got harp, and I did use the harp as well. We've got alto flutes, bass flutes, bass clarinets, contrabass clarinet. Let's just try that one. So I'm just gonna grab one of the articulations, drag it on there. So there's the lowest note of the contrabass clarinet. That is very cool sound. Let's try the staccato and see how they sound. And by the way, they do have multiple mic positions on all of these patches as well. Let's look at some of the other kind of interesting patches. We've got euphoniums. I actually played a euphonium when I was a kid. Didn't like Home Alone have like a euphonium part in it maybe. So let's have a listen to what I've got in here other than those first couple of things. I've got some mid strings that are doing more uh, quick, quick moving spiccato stuff. Now we've got the low strings again in octaves. And then for the harp, I just use these chords, which are basically just a root and a fifth, kind of fluttering through them. Something I wouldn't be able to do if I had just played it myself. Got some really nice flutes. Now we've got our flugelhorns, our euphonium, a kid's choir, and then some boomer percussion. And then at the bottom, I've got a piano. And let's have a listen to this piece. This is Metropolis Arc 2. understated, beautiful, with some really different instruments in there. And I do like that. I like the fact that we've got these different timbres from so many of the other libraries that we might already have. So much more understated. I think obviously if you're doing a big soundtrack, you'd want to have both Metropolis Arc 1 and 2. And I kind of feel like having those two libraries would cover a lot of ground if you were looking at just getting two of them. So for the last idea, this is mostly Metropolis Arc 4, but I do have some of the Metropolis Arc 3 patches in here as well. So let's just go look at both of those libraries a little bit more 
same structure layout. And then if we look at the different districts, we'll see what, what is defining these ones. So they're calling it the beating orchestra. So we go to string orchestra. So this is a whole string orchestra, the whole thing, not low sections and high sections, but just the whole thing all the way across the keyboard. You can hear just the kind of bizarre type stuff. So that was half note down. Clusters, let's go to Ricochet. Let's go to Repetitions. So depending on the, t the tempo of your song. Now let's go to the string quintet and we've got string quintet doing some bizarre stuff. So that was the full orchestra of just string instruments. give you an idea of some of the articulations and patches you've got in the strings. We'll go to the woodwind and you're going to find the same kind of stuff. And then let's try some of these solo drums out and they've got them mapped out all the way up the keyboard. Got a lot of varieties of bass drums and toms and things like that in these different libraries, but not a lot of cymbals. So even their things like cymbals are going to be kind of different in this library. So they're not traditional. So that's just a tiny taste of Metropolis Arc 3. Now again, a very specific library that is meant for bizarre sounds. So it's not one that you'd want to start with. You'd want to make sure you have some more of the basic sounds first before you get into these bizarre articulations. And then if we look at Metropolis Arc 4, which is mostly what I've got in this little project right here, we'll go to this Elite Orchestral Forces and we can see Full Orchestra Multi. So this is going to be something gigantic. They've got key switches way down at the bottom. So you can hear all of the instruments of the orchestra in there and then they've got the different articulations as well. So staccato. So very big orchestral patches that might work for people who are in the pit, in the orchestra pit of say a musical or something like that, where you needed to handle the whole sound of an orchestra on one keyboard, you could kind of get away with that with this library for sure. They've got other ones in here as well. So they've got string orchestra, woodwind orchestra. And then if we go to district two, we can see the different sections just like we had in the other ones. And you can see the breakdown is different again. We've got flute and piccolo together. We've got flute, oboe, and clarinet together. So the thing you'll find with Metropolis Arc 4 is that they've got these combinations, but you're kind of stuck with those. You can't separate the bass clarinet out of the bass saxophone or the muted bass trombone or whatever. You're kind of stuck with those combinations that they've created. And then we've got some choir and some more percussion. Marimba, xylophone, and piano, which I used in this one, and then some tuned drums as well. So not a ton of percussion instruments in this one either. Let's see what I've got for this little piece. Started with... And then probably added the low strings next. Added some high strings in there as well. And then I've got some flutes. So that one's flute and piccolo together. We've got horns and bassoons playing the, the main chords in this one. Probably should have given those poor 
instrumentalists um, a chance to breathe, but oh well, it's, it's virtual instruments, right? And then we've got trumpets. Which I like. I like the sound of these trumpets in here in this library. Trumpets are kind of a hard one to, to get. Some libraries they sound pretty bad, but this one I do like the trumpets in here. So there's an example of the piano and the marimba and the xylophone all together. Pretty neat sounding patch. Quite has kind of a magical sort of sound to it. Got timpanis or pitch drums. And then I've got some percussion taiko drums that I brought in from Metropolis Arc 3 and a timpani roll that is from this library here. And that percussion in Metropolis Arc 3 had the cymbals in it, so that's where I got that one from. So let's have a listen to this little idea. So Metropolis Arc, really great stuff. Go check it out. Check their website and check all of the material, all of the information on each of those libraries. And hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.